and on the 27th of January, the Russians came in and they liberated us. A lot of people had, have bad memories from that, but I have good ones. I'm very grateful. As, um, as I was relating it to, Petren to Petrenko, when he came to visit Los Angeles, that I had a particular wonderful story about um, a soldier picking me up, sitting down and rocking me in his arms and the tears were just flowing down his face. And I can never forget that as long as I live. Just to look at him and, and figuring in my head, you mean there's somebody, like somebody out there cares about me? It was, it was the first time I had this kind of feeling. I thought only um, your mother or somebody, but somebody caring about me, it was overwhelming. He wanted to share his food and he had slonina, which is like slab bacon. And I showed him my stash of bread and I said, no, that's all I want is the bread. Look how much I have. But I did take a little piece of his black bread he had that Russian black bread, but they didn't have very much. The soldiers didn't look like the, the Germans all dressed up. They, they looked kind of tattered and worn and beaten up. They did not look the same like the Germans and with the with clanking of their boots. They didn't hardly had anything like that. And uh, these are, this is my recollection of the Russian liberation. And after that, um, um, I don't know how, if it was days or nothing, they dressed us up in those striped uniforms, which we never had before, ever, because those were warm. And um, they took pictures. And I was lucky enough, I, I attached myself to one Russian soldier and I went with them on the Jeep and when they were filming. Now, the films that you see at Liberation of Auschwitz are unreal, and no human being can explain it, what it looked like. Um, I'm sure you've seen the pictures. Um, I'm sure you saw real pictures that they show. Well, this is what we were liberated with. There were bodies everywhere that died afterwards, and those were gathered up in front of each camp and put in big piles. And we were lucky it was winter, so the bodies stayed intact, and they were not causing any health hazards. That's what we found out later. Of course, I was a child. I didn't know all this stuff. All I know is that when I went around with that, Russian and they were filming the devastation of Auschwitz with those mass graves and all these things that you only see on film. This is what we had in Auschwitz.